Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the KBA Sixth Form Open Evening. And really disappointed we can't have you in the building this evening, but I hope the virtual Open Evening gives you a real flavour of the KBA Sixth Form. And I hope everyone is safe and well. And tonight is about giving you lots of information, giving you a flavour and the different options and courses, but talk about why KBA Sixth Form is so unique and so special. And over the last three to five years, we've been really proud of the results at the academy. So currently in 2019 results in the top 10% nationally, our results places in the second highest school in the county and results places in the highest uh, progress score in the United Learning School Trust over 82 schools. So there's been some real hard work in ensuring that we're high performing. It's a real high academic curriculum. We offer both at level three uh, courses and A-level courses for our students and we make sure that there's high quality mentoring teaching and learning and real support for students to be nurtured but also sort of really um, aspire to the highest grades and we've seen students go around the country to different universities to top universities in the country lots of Oxbridge applications and successful uh, students go into Cambridge and Oxford over the last two to three years and lots of students go to Russell Group University so really proud of what we've achieved over the last three to five years the, the growth of the sixth form, you know, record numbers this year have stayed on, but also recruited from externally across different schools in the area. And what's made it real unique, I feel, is that we obviously the building's exceptional at KBA, 21st century sort of building, state-of-the-art facilities for our sixth form students. But like I say to everyone that visits the academy, we're more than just a building. It's about having high quality expertise in the classroom that really changes and transforms A-level results. And we're very blessed here at the academy to have some of the best teachers in the country, teachers that have been working for the Oak National Academy uh, for the country during lockdown, deliver A-level teaching in the academy. We have some great sort of subject experts that work across United Learning and offer the sort of the curriculum range for United Learning. So the, the strength, of, the core strength of the school is really is teaching quality in the classroom. And I hope that tonight you'll see the expertise and on offer in terms of the curriculum, but also what the students get in terms of above and beyond the curriculum, which is so crucial to life in the sixth form. I'm now going to pass you on to Miss Rao. And Miss Rao is our assistant principal of the academy and head of sixth form. And I look forward to hearing more about the sixth form this evening. Take care. Good evening. Bye bye. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our virtual sixth form open evening 2020. My name's Miss Rao and I'm the assistant principal that's in charge of the sixth form here. Just to give you a bit of background about myself, I've been at the school for over four years now. I started my KBA career as head of house and the house system underpins all of the KBA, KBA values. I then moved into a key stage four progress role and I'm now in my fourth year of being head of sixth form. I'm deeply committed to and passionate to ensuring that every single one of our students gets the same chances as all of the others that they're going to be in competition with when it comes to vying for university places, apprenticeships and jobs. And because I'm on the senior leadership team and work alongside Mr DeSalvo and other members of the senior leadership team, it means I can shape and influence decisions relating to the sixth form and have a direct impact on their outcomes. I'm proud of some of the changes we have brought over the last few years, such as introducing more focused, proactive study time so that students can start to develop the habits for success. I'd like to welcome you again and welcome you warmly to our evening and thank you very much for considering KBA as the next steps in your academic careers. I imagine it only feels like yesterday that you were choosing your year seven school and now you're coming to the end of year 11. Sixth form will go even quicker and the jump will seem large. If you think our year 13s are already applying for universities and the Oxford and Cambridge entry exams have already been completed, they were completed the week before last. The number of subjects that your, you or your children will study at A-level will decrease, but the expectations and workload will increase. However, I want to reassure you that support is always here for you here at KBA. And that bridges the transition and support as you move through the two years of sixth form. The jump from year 11 to sixth form can be quite big. We have a sixth form with a relentlessly high focus on standards, but also one that is nurturing to support and drive the ambition of each of our students. And all the guidance and support is there and is given in order for your children and our students to succeed. 
I'm extremely proud of the sixth form here at KBA. There is a shared commitment to ensuring that every one of our A-level students achieves success. We have strong leadership, high quality teaching and rigorous standards that are at the heart of our commitment. We also have an expectation that our students arrive here with a thirst for learning and the necessary self-motivation and hard work ethic to succeed. So one of the most important topics and what you're really here for tonight is how to choose your A-level subjects. It has to be about enjoyment and interest and what your future career aspirations are. Have a think about the subjects that you really enjoy and the ones that you're succeeding in. After the event, you'll be able to ask questions directly via email to subject teachers and maybe make sure that you don't leave your computers or your phones or your iPads tonight without sending those questions that you require about the A-level courses that interest you. Gather all the information that you need in order to be able to make informed decisions about your A-level choices. Predicted grades. I want every year 11 student that's watching to think about your upcoming mock exams, many of which are coming up at the end of this month or the beginning of December. Are you where you need to be or want to be in order to take forward the subjects that you want to be able to study at A-level? Are you anywhere near the entry requirements for A-levels, which I'll run through with you in this presentation? What you need to do now is ensure you meet these requirements in the summer. Predicted ba grades based on your mock exam results will be what sixth form providers such as ourselves make initial offers on as to whether or not you would be accepted. Do you want to obtain entry into a Russell Group or a top third university? The Russell Group of Universities is an elite group of universities who regularly tops league tables for performance, results and graduate employment rates. The number of graduate leading experts and their graduates are proven to have a higher earning potential from these universities and have the ability to advance faster and further in their career, thus earning more money. Ultimately, knowledge is power when it comes to universities as competition is tough and courses are so varied. So it's important that you know what course you want to study and what the course entry requirements are. You can download the Informed Choices booklet published by the Russell Group of Universities as it will give you advice about what subjects leave the most options open for, you, for students to study undergrad, undergraduate degree courses. You may want to think about university facilitating subjects such as biology, chemistry, physics, English literature, geography, history, modern foreign languages, maths and further maths, all are subjects that we offer here at KBA for A-level. These are a handful of subjects commonly asked for in university's entry requirements, regardless of the course you're applying to. This makes them a good choice to, to keep your degree options open, especially if you don't know yet what you want to do for a career. These subjects are all well received by universities, and like I said, we offer them here. Our entry requirements. Okay, so overall, to gain entry to the KBA 6 form, we ask for five GCSEs at a grade five or above, including English and maths, in order to study an academic pathway, which you'll be able to see on the blocks on the next slide. Most subjects have subject specific entry requirements of a grade five or a six, or sometimes higher. We ask for these high grades so that you're setting yourself up for success. It's difficult to be successful at A-levels without the high grades at GCSE to enable you to be able to understand and analyse the high level of content, debate and analyt analytical thinking involved. We're also mindful of next steps, university courses, degree level apprenticeships and careers that are all demanding high GCSE grades as entry requirements and not just A-level results. We also have an exceptionally wide variety of vocational courses. And some of the courses we offer here are Applied Business Studies, new for last year was BTEC Travel and Tourism, OCR Nationals in IT, OCR Nationals in PE, Applied Law, Health and Social Care and Child's Play Learning and Development. The entry requirements for those are five GCSEs at a grade four or above, including English and Maths. We are an academic sixth form and there are many local institutions that offer courses such as Hair and Beauty, we don't offer those courses. We are a local tailored post-16 provision with teachers who are well developed in delivering outstanding A-level lessons and securing excellent outcomes for our students. We track and monitor our students' progress every step of the way, more robustly than a college would do, including attendance and punctuality, as well as academic progress. 
These are our provisional option blocks for September 2021. Please take time to look through these blocks and the subjects available. There'll be more detailed information about each course available in the prospectus and you can also gain that from staff in school if you're a current KBA student or by emailing sixform at kba.uk and we'll ensure that the relevant subject specialist gets your email. Typically students choose three or four A-level subjects to study as long as they are from the different option blocks. We've organised the blocks to give so that the blocks are organised to give more guidance on the pathways and if you have any more questions about this please do feel free to contact us. You'll see the subjects at the top of the grid are the, um, the academic A-levels and the subjects at the bottom of the grid are the vocational subjects which offer a more coursework, coursework based way of learning. Students are assessed as they work through the units. I'm now going to pass you over to Mr Hall who is our assistant head of sixth form. Hey, good evening everybody. Um, really pleased to be able to speak to you this evening about more features of the KBA sixth form and um, hopefully they'll all help you make your choices about next steps after year 11. So we're very proud of the enrichment and support that we offer here at KBA and we, we really feel that in order to offer a fully rounded experience of sixth form and to achieve the aim that sixth form has, which is to make students ready for the next stage in life. It is important to enrich the curriculum and to support students through the two years that they'll be here with us. We have a program called Global Learning, um, which takes place every Wednesday afternoon. And through that program, we, we um, teach aspects of life and learning beyond the classroom. Uh, it basically breaks down into three areas. We focus on health, we focus on futures and we focus on study skills and at different times of the year the global learning program will be weighted differently um, but for instance our year 13 students since we came back in September have all been working um, and been supported through the UCAS application process helping them to choose universities and make those applications and for the students who were choosing not to go to university, equal support is in place for them to be able to make choices about next steps for their careers. We also have a dedicated careers advisor who works with us in the sixth form and she's available currently doing telephone careers appointments uh, to support students making those next steps and um, more and more we're seeing degree apprenticeships as a as a really appealing option for young people to take and um, we, we've had some successes supporting young people into those programs in recent years especially last year um, so through that global learning program you know, we, we feel that we offer students um, all of the insights that they need into to life beyond school and especially through the health element of that programme, thinking about mental health, um, emotional and sexual health and having healthy relationships. Um, there, there are lots of tiers or several tiers of support in our sixth form too. So the first port of call will always be the form tutor. So all sixth form students are in a, a form and they see their form tutor every day. And that's always a, a first port of call. But then there's the sixth form team that Miss Rao has spoken to you about. And of course, subject specialists are there for specific advice and guidance about um, learning and exams and all of the academic side of life. But of course, the delivery of the curriculum and assessment of progress through the curriculum is the, the core reason why we're here as a, a sixth form. And we believe that we've got a, a good structure in place in order to get students ready for both of the types of qualification that we offer. We have um, regular assessment points throughout year 12 and year 13. And those assessment points are designed to be in tune with both the a-level terminal exams at the end of year 13 and with the the modular examinations and coursework exams for the BTEC courses that we offer. Those formal assessment points uh, they, they essentially happen in the, in the winter end of November and December and then in the spring around May time and it gives us a really clear picture of the progress that all students are making in all of their subjects. Uh, of course, it's the subject teachers who lead the follow up to the results of those exams in terms of determining next steps. But as a sixth form team and in my role as the 
uh, lead for academic outcomes in sixth form, we always look at that data and try to understand patterns and respond appropriately in terms of making sure that students are, are on track to achieve the very best grades that they can. So the, a fundamental part of our, our successful outcomes in our delivery of the curriculum is our relationship with parents. And parents will always be the, the first to know if we have any concerns or if we identify any issues in terms of um, students dropping behind at all or, or falling away from their predicted grades. Outside of those formal assessment points, there's of course regular in-class assessment, which is happening all the time. And we encourage our students to have um, really detailed and up-to-date folders of all of their work that they're doing. Some subjects do that more electronically than others or some subjects use um, paper folders but that retention of past work with assessment and feedback and tips for improvement is a, another part of our strategy to make sure that young people do well in our sixth form and know how to succeed as well as being encouraged to do so. But increasingly, we find that subjects are using online resources more and more. So we have um, the use of Teams for, for different models of teaching, the use of OneNote for the collation of resources and submission of work, the use of um, Seneca as an online um, learning tool, which we use throughout the school from year 7 to 13. Um, but it, is, it can be especially powerful in terms of um, supplementing knowledge for students. And we also really encourage our students uh, and enable it through the publication of different resources and, and sharing of links. We encourage our students to learn independently beyond the curriculum as well. So using resources like OpenLearn, an incredible resource provided by the Open University, to support students in their um, embellishment of what happens in the, the classroom. We have, we have specialist teaching spaces for all subjects throughout the academy and, and our facilities again are something else that we can be really proud of and um, I wish that we could, could show you around like we would have done in previous years and you can have a look around but I, I can share a, a few thoughts about the facilities. And we, we have a, an incredible school, the, the, the building is a, an incredible place to be both because of the, the architecture and the, the space that's on offer here but also the kind of the atmosphere within the building as well. Um, during study periods, our sixth form students, you know, you can see them at any point during any day working independently, working collaboratively. There are spaces for students to work together. Uh, equally, there are quieter spaces where students can go off and just find a, a quiet corner if that's their learning style when they're not in lessons. And Two of our, our main study areas are, are fully equipped with um, PCs as well. So access to IT equipment uh, and to the Wi-Fi should students want to bring in their own devices is something that uh, supports students' independent learning. Our sixth form students have additional access to the canteen because of the flexibility of their timetables. The, the canteen works flexibly so that they don't have to you know, get in long queues with younger students and um, equally uh, any available rooms that aren't being used for teaching uh, are made available to sixth form to be able to, um, to study outside of lessons. So we're, we're really proud of the the curriculum offer here, the, the, a broad and varied curriculum which is suitable to a, a range of learners and, and will enable your son or daughter to be able to achieve any possible outcome in their life after school. The enrichment adds to that uh, and enables young people to be much more prepared for life beyond school and, and KBA is just a, a nice uh, place to come and a good atmosphere to come to every day. Uh, next steps are on this final slide here. So following this evening's um, open evening, um, we'll be opening the online application form, which will be open um, immediately after this um, event this evening. So the online application form can be found on the KBA website in the sixth form section of the KBA website and online applications are the only way that you can apply to our sixth form 
if technology is a challenge for anybody or you don't have access to, to a computer to be able to do that online application form, for students at KBA, we can arrange to, for that to happen during lunchtime or outside of lessons. And for any students wanting to apply to KBA, but for whom online access is a challenge, then we could complete that form with you over the telephone. So if completing an online form is a difficulty, then please just do let us know. It is not a barrier to joining us here at school. Um, during December, KBA students will be invited to interviews taking place during the school day. And then early next year, so that's um, in early February, external applicants will be invited to interview. Uh, and the timing of those um, external applicant interviews is designed so that it, it avoids um, mock exams in all of the, the local schools where we, where we have um, applications from. Um, GCSE results day is the, the final day for decision making. So of course, any offers that are made will be conditional offers based on students achieving the grades that they need to do the, stud the subjects that they want to study. Um, but that timeline through from tonight all the way through to GCSE examination day is there to, to ensure that your transition from GCSE into our sixth form is as smooth and as helpful as it possibly can be. So please never hesitate to get in touch with, with us here at sixth form. Teachers from all subjects are available for the for the rest of the evening and available on email with any questions that you might have. Um, we very much look forward to hearing from you. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Bye. I hope you found this information and the presentation useful this evening. Um, so what should you do next? So please spend lots of time now looking at the, the website. There'll be some videos from all of our heads of subjects and subject specialists and they'll be talking and they'll be giving a summary about all the A-level subjects that we offer here. The online application form will be available to complete and that will go live as soon as this presentation is finished. There'll be the subject option blocks and also our prospectus which will give details of entry requirements, course specifications and content. For the next two hours, staff will be available live by email to answer any questions that you might have. So please email sixform at kba.uk. I'll be personally manning those emails and I'll be forwarding them on to relevant subject areas. We've also got um, specialist staff on hand tomorrow if you want to email tomorrow as well. This presentation will be available to watch after the event also. So please feel free to either contact me directly it's Sam Rao at kba.uk or sixth form at kba.uk. It's been a pleasure being able to speak to you all this evening and I really hope that one day I'll be able to meet you face to face. Good evening and thank you.